You save about 1000 plus. You work out cheaper than me. 34,000. You want 5, even more. You save about 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. Hi guys, so today we have here the Porsche Taycan 4S. I had the opportunity to drive this car a few months back. The rest of my Horizon teams, they are just catching up with me. Today, Tana, Bobby and Rachel, they are all having their turn in this car. Tune into their channel to watch their review. Awesome. So, Tana, you haven't had a chance to drive no, this. No, I haven't. But, I'm gonna, <laughs> but you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna drive this later. Yes, you're I You're gonna am. tell me how good this car is or what. But, bro, let yeah. me ask you this. Yeah. This is something, I think, something I want to discuss with you. Sure. This is an EV charger with about 300 to 350 range easy. And more actually. So, full charge. Yeah. But, we, 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 voila, we be, be conservative in our sure. estimate. Yeah. Huh? 350, let's say 3 350 kilometers per full charge. This is an EV that takes us from KL to Penang on one charge. Yes. Do you feel that this would be the car that would convince you to transition? Yes. I think for me, uh, you need to do, I mean, forget about being Penang, KL Penang. Mm. To do KL KL, yeah. I mean, if you're doing, um, if you're staying, say, um, somewhere in Monkera and yeah. you work somewhere let's say in Shah Alam mm -hmm. or even PJ proper mm -hmm. um, you need that at least 100 km just to do point to point point to point point to point being uh, from your house to your office and to back maybe drop your kids in school along the way definitely that's actually point to point yeah when you drop the kids in school you need an extra 100 kilometers mm -hmm. then traffic comes in so the old EVs were all about 184 yeah. sub, well, sub 200 you yeah. talk about yeah. the EVM the Volvos or sub sub two hundred, yeah. that just didn't cut it. Yeah, because you're gonna to come to a point of rate is I think you're gonna be Correct. feeling like, oh my god, do I have enough power to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think I think on average most of us we live about I don't know some twenty kilometers, some fifty kilometers on average lah to our workplace. Correct. Hundred kilometer range is really really cutting it very very close if you don't have the, the means to recharge it at your office. No, and you must understand from that. Even if I can recharge, yeah. the issue is how long to recharge. Oh yeah, that's so, true. So even if can, if even let's say next to where I work mm. as a post center, yeah, how long to recharge? Yeah, you know maybe I get up in the morning and pick up in the right. afternoon. Right. But the fact is, you gotta be able to charge within a second or within uh, like a couple it's of minutes. It's basically like how you replenish your fuel tank, right? Yeah. You have every time when you refuel, you are replenishing range exactly into your car, right? Let's say like be it. 400 or 500 or 600 kilometers, you are replenishing range in your car. That whole thing can be done in less than 10 minutes time. And mm. while you are doing that, you can go to the toilet, you can have your smoke, your yeah. coffee, whatever, in the petrol station. The infrastructure there is well established. Exactly. Going into EVs requires a very fundamental change in our lifestyle or a, a significant catching up on the infrastructure to be able to provide us mm. the mobility without compromising the, the, the current way we do exactly. things. The, able, the ability to replenish okay. the range in a short period of time. I think in some countries, they also have this solution whereby you just drive to the station, park, they pull out your battery and they plug in a fully charged one. I think they're talking about some cars mm. with that capacity, but I don't think it's in, it's in production. Not in Malaysia. Yeah, not in Malaysia I, think, yeah. I, think, I think in China, yeah, there are some, yeah. some brands yeah. are experimenting so, with it. So that's why I think yeah, you, you need that 300 odd kilometer and this with the uh, higher version you can get more. Question, your, uh, your high-end high uh, mount for your GoPro here, Yeah. she's actually uh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's your rate on this car? 
Um, I think on the full tank, it, uh, it, it, this, the, the range computer will show me about 550 to 600 kilometers. Right. And you actually get that much? Uh, no, la. I will refill. I always, I always refill at the quarter mark. So it's so about 400 kilometers I will refill. Okay. So, yeah. so that's within the spec, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. I guess yeah. some cars, some older cars, the range is about 300 to 50. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, even like a Mighty, for example, yeah. is 350. Yeah. Because that's, that's down to the size of the boot. Exactly. Right. You know? and, so, and, yeah. Yeah. But for me, for me, the way I look at it is this. Um, when it comes to electrification, right, I, I very much am looking, my, my, my long-term roadmap is that I'm looking to one day directly jump into an EV. I will, prob I will bypass the hybrids, I'll bypass the DHEVs, and I'll just one day pop, go straight into a full EV. Definitely. Yeah, because the way I look at it, right, the benefits of EV is your maintenance is actually a lot lower. I don't know about I don't know about electricity costs, lah, right? But with an EV, you don't worry about timing belt, you don't worry about thermostat, you don't worry about one or seals, you don't worry about about even the brake brake, brake pads. Yes. Even the brake pads the issue because they, of course there is brake pads. Yeah. But you don't need brake pads. Less. It's less, less right? because they have the regen system. Yeah. You, so the only thing that you the, your maintenance will be a bit heavy. Probably are tires because the EVs are heavier. Yes, correct. Right. Your tire wear may be faster. Mm. Your suspension components may wear out faster. But when you balance it against so many other things, to me, to me, it's the logical step. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, like we talk about, let's say, a hybrid car. Yeah, yeah. A hybrid car, for example, yeah. takes away the alternator. Yeah. It's logical. It takes away the AC compressor. Yes. So yeah. it takes away parts and makes it more. Uh, it, it, it lesser parts. Yeah. And TV here, that's a part. You know, you know, you know the, the best part is right that there I, I attended the virtual launch of yep. the of, of this fellow's uh, uh, sibling. Oh. The sport to the, the sport turismo, the Taycan Sport Ooh. Turismo. <laughs> the cross turismo, sorry, Taycan that, Cross Yeah, that's awesome. Huh? That, that, you know, right? The, the, some of the things, the innovations that they were talking about, you know, like what? Mm. Okay, so let's say like right now you buy this car. Mm. Okay, so now so now the, the, the typical way of buying cars, okay, you go to the showroom, you see, okay, I want this color. Then I want this spec. Then I want this options, option, 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 right? Yep. With the with the with this right with this platform right, Porsche can tell you, nah, you take your car first. You want another feature? You just pay six months down the road, and we can just download it into your car. Yeah. Down correct, the line. Correct. Correct. It's like a Tesla. You know, it's example. it's yeah. it's it's amazing. Like what Bobby once mentioned about how his uh his his Volvo, his XC90. After certain over the air updates, the car behaves differently because of the new software tunes that go inside the car. To me, to me, the the, the biggest thing is this. Mm. The thing about today, we have an ACAN here. Mm. And it's the engine is there, obviously the battery is there, mm. and then there's the ECU and all that mm. stuff. But other than that, the ECU, the engine, and the battery, mm. nothing else in the car. Mm. To hack the ECU, to me, is like uh, yeah, in ten years or mm -hmm. five years, mm -hmm. it's highly possible. Yeah, you know, people like uh, Mike Yap will come up with a tuning solution. For <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike, if you are watching this, right, you're gonna have to change your game pretty right. soon, man. Right. So when that comes, yeah. and it's happening in America yeah. now, is that people will go and buy batteries. Mm -hmm. The reason now earlier, five years ago, you can't buy EV cars. That's why the battery is different. Talk yeah. about Prius. Talk about uh, mm. Audi. Talk about yeah. it. Porsche. They're all different battery systems. Yeah, but with this platform now. They're all the same that's yeah. coming out. Yeah. Panasonic and Samsung yeah. coming out with the same yeah. cells. So to me, it's mind blowing. That's why you can you there is there would be such a thing as aftermarket. Bro, right? there's a guy in Panda Inda, uh -huh. believe it or not, uh -huh. which uh, takes the the first gen Prius uh -huh. and they uh, take out the cells uh -huh. and they put from they put all on nickel cadmium uh -huh. and they put lithium ion batteries to give you extra range to the car. I'm kidding. And, and you know how much is it? Right? It's about six k. You know, six k for a Prius. A Pri Prius, you know, so so Malaysia, it's a, Malaysia, in Malaysia, the guy just all ah. that. So if they can do it for that, yeah. Imagine what will happen in the future. Yeah, people with modding put higher batteries and yeah. bigger motors and yeah. and uh, lighter wheels. Yeah. for example, like and in the in the tech, for example, lighter wheels make a lot of difference yeah. because why? The spun mass is on the wheels. Yeah. So, Tana, I ask you this right? Yeah. Okay. Let's. We. I think we have both established that we are ready to one day make a jump to. Yeah. But what is your minimum threshold for let in range la, that you think is acceptable before you, you, you decide okay I'm gonna buy this yeah. as something that I would consider for my daily use? Okay, forget about Tekken or any other EV for now. We just look at range. Okay. Yeah, range. For me, logically it has to be about 400 kilometers. 400? 400. 
because um, I want to feel secure at three quarter. Because okay. because you must understand about, uh, that the the main issue with EV cars is this is heat and cold. Mm -hmm. So when it's cold, the battery zaps out. Correct. When it's hot, the battery also zaps out. And Malaysia is one freaking hot country if you haven't realized. Yeah, and then when it rains, it becomes cold. Cold again. Yeah. So when that happens, what happens is that the, the car's AC system is working over time to modulate the temperature of the battery Correct. pack. Correct. So the battery range, although it's... I mean, you must understand this. When, when, when Paul says the range is X, that's for worldwide consumption, mm -hmm. not Malaysia. Correct. Correct. You Correct. Know? So, so I reckon that there's going to be a drop used daily. Daily in the of car course. is going to drop. Of so three quarter of me is safe. So from the 300 kilometers, yeah, yeah. Um, getting stuck in traffic and once in a while going to see a client, because I don't be in a point, I'm going out and I, my client say, hey, come on, have a beer. Yeah, hey, exactly. cannot come, like, no, no, no. my hey, car don't use no. it. Beer means, right, you reach there after you grab home. Yeah, ah, okay. So you are safe. <laughs> okay. Come bro, have coffee bro. Ah. Uh, I can't come lah bro, my car EV range only 30 km lah. Must go home lah. That's a pathetic excuse to give. You know? I don't want to be the guy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So and also the, the second point is that there must be a way mm. to charge at least about 10 to 15 percent of battery within about 10 15 minutes. 10 15 percent, okay. How much how much range do you expect from that 10 15 percent? 50 keys? 50 so basically you are you you 50 k's in 10 minutes 15 minutes you know all right for, for, fair, time, for time i go to fair. a petrol pump i walk in i get my coffee whatever i come out 10 15 minutes mm -hmm. i can leave 50 km range i can go to the next spot mm -hmm. so whatever it is wherever i am at a petrol pump mm -hmm. i can go to the next petrol pump 50 k 50 k i'll be happy mm -hmm. if you give me that 50 k i'll be totally happy driving the evening mm -hmm. every day every day la. yeah so that, that that's my minimum requirement if you have that Fantastic, you know? For me, for me, based on my own usage patterns, I imagine a two hundred realistic range. Like we don't talk about rated range, mm. And a two hundred kilometer range, based on my usage patterns, I think it's good enough for me to consider using it. Uh, well, maybe not for 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 as the only car in the household, right? But as something that would that would handle tasks like going for my groceries sending my kids to school grocery. traveling within a well i'm Orang, not talking about the taikan orang kaya or grocery and gan taikan no <laughs> kalau taikan sudah pergi jauh sikit lah. <laughs> no yeah, 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 i understand, yeah, understand. Right, 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 right. right so yeah. or, 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 or go to work or yes yes don't understand yeah i think i think yeah, that's why even the leaf mm -hmm. i was looking at the leaf and i was like press to dropping yeah i was like wow Leaf is quite interesting. But leaf, the range is about 160. Yeah, the range is right. pathetic. The price is too high. Yeah. Uh, no one to support the car in Malaysia after outside of Nissan itself. Yeah. So, so 100, because 160 k is right, really, you know, it's let's say like you, and there's 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 160 k on the whatever test cycle. It's not real world. Yeah. So realistically, you're looking at 100 kilometers of range. Correct. You go office, your your colleagues say, hey, come, let's go clang at Bakute tonight. Gone, finish. Correct. You you don't have to go already. And yeah, and that's why I think I think that the taken for me at least mm. being Malaysian, yeah. this is the first EV in Malaysia yeah. that I got like wow, I could I could actually buy this because you consider this right? Yeah, because and, and for me because they're considering having the uh, local factory in Malaysia yeah, 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 yeah. coming I think next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is one of them I think. Mm. The, uh, the, I mean there are reports there might be, that, say there might be. that we do not know because the the problem yeah. with locally assembling this is. Mechanically, this is a very simple car, yep. right? It's just the electric motor, but the, it, it is the handling of the batteries that will be the challenge. Yeah. You know, shipping the batteries in, uh, and you know, and the installation of the high voltage. All this needs to be handled with Correct. care. Mm. Uh, the necessary equipment and logistical arrangements mm. to enable that to happen may or may not be cost effective to tackle. But I, I'm I'm surprised that that was considered. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that happens. Mm. Uh, it would it would be a game changer. And I won't go for the four S. Mm. I'll go for the two wheel drive. You go for two wheel drive, I'll go for the wheel drive, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> New wheel drive, Porsche, high power, oh, lift ready. That's the way to go, Lighter. Yeah. It's lighter. Yes, yes, yes. Why do uh, no, 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 I mean obviously this is a four S, very capable and stuff. Mm. But um, one of the things that I always uh, face when I'm driving capable cars, yeah. Uh, Cars are too good nowadays. Yeah, so some, all cars are too good. Sometimes, sometimes you need something to like make you. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah. So to, to me, and that 
I think uh, if it's made in Malaysia CKD, yeah. I'm reckoning about under 500k. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fantastic. <laughs> no, but even now at 580k, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's actually a pretty good deal. But you know, uh, Tana, just now you said something about aftermarket batteries. Right? Yeah. You know that if that comes in, mm. it would totally change the, the, the whole whole the whole game of electric vehicle ownership not just only on modification possibilities but also the resale value of these cars because because after this because if it once it once the battery thing once battery replacement is no longer a scary thing right these things will hold their value like better. like for example the crz uh -huh. um i think from honda it was about 16 for the batteries mm. from honda mm. but now outside they're doing it for 1008 so so there are people who are doing it aftermarket and, and yeah. taking in and doing the batteries. So it's a matter of time. In, in Malaysia, yeah. in, in Singapore, yeah. it's a big thing. There's yeah. a company in Singapore also doing this. Yeah. So regionally, there are guys who are doing this and taking batteries. And, 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 and the main thing about the batteries actually, if you open them up, mm -hmm. they're all the same cell batteries. They're all very similar design. The issue why they can't make their own aftermarket complete units because they can't get the economy of scale of, let's say, a Porsche, yeah. a Tesla. Yeah. They can't buy in that bulk. Yeah. Now you and I can go buy the battery themselves and, and assemble them, but you can never get them as cheap as how big exactly, exactly. You know? And that, and that's why the aftermarket is so poor. Yeah. Not because they can't do it. It's costly. Yeah. Isn't it? And in America, it's a big game changer why they buy used Tesla batteries yeah. and they recondition them and they salvage and they do it yeah. back. So and, and in Europe now, this is one of the best selling cars in some countries. Some countries this is the highest selling. Do you know that last year Porsche sold twenty thousand of these things around the world? Twenty thousand you know? Twenty thousand. In a in a in a in a COVID ravaged world. Correct. This is crazy. Yeah. This they sold twenty thousand so, of these things. So can you imagine if Porsche starts selling twenty thousand units around the world, yeah. can you imagine in a couple of years what they can's possibilities are for aftermarket, for batteries, for motors. Ah. You know it's 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 I mean Tesla does it but Tesla's problem is Tesla keeps the IP. They are very yeah. protective of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, what happens in the car. Mm -hmm. But Porsche has been known to um, people been playing with Porsche for I think the history like yeah. that. Because yeah. I think uh, Porsche's company and why the Germans believe that people must know how to yeah. take care of the car and yeah. 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 So I feel that uh, this is going to be a fantastic oh, yeah. future for Porsche. Yeah, absolutely. So I look forward to see one on your driveway in a few years. I, I, I think so. I think so. <laughs> I'll pray for your success, bro. I mean, again, I could buy it now, but where do I drive it to? I'm stuck at home. <laughs> Nowhere to go. <laughs> Take care, guys. Stay safe. Let us know in the comment section below what do you think. Uh, specifically, the question, right? How, how, how far would you expect your EV to go on one full charge before you consider buying one yourself? Take care, guys. Stay Take care. safe. Bye. What do I do? What do I do? What am I doing?